Hi everyone, potty pad training. How can you be successful training your puppy with potty pads? You turn around just for a moment, take your eyes off your puppy, and there, there's some pee in the corner. Let's start with a the puppy. They have such tiny bladders. And of course, you know, when they were with their mom, all they had to do was crawl a few inches away from her and pee. So you have to make sure with a puppy that you have constant supervision. And if you're gonna potty train indoors, I always start with potty pads in a puppy pen. I don't use a crate for a puppy. Or if I have a crate, I keep the door open so they can like the crate, go in, eat their meals, and come back out. But I don't use a crate to confine a puppy. I use a puppy pen, like this pen here. And in the puppy pen, I put the pee pads and I put a bed so my puppy has a nice little place. So here is how I set up my area to potty train my puppy. This is the area I've chosen for my potty area. I have a nice little corner. Eventually, my puppy will run over here and go potty on one potty pad. But right now, I'm gonna cover the whole area. I like to use a pad holder. Harder for the puppy to dig it up, to dig up the corners. Easier to keep it down and keep it secure. In addition to the pad holder, I cover the whole floor. Just makes it easier for my puppy not to make a mistake. What I like to do is take a section from my playpen that I use for my puppy. Just take a small section, unclip it, and use it as a gate. So when my puppy needs to potty, I carry them over. And as I'm carrying them over, I try not to say potty. I reserve that word for when I'm here on the potty pads. What I say to them as I carry them over is papers or pee pad. So my dogs start to associate, if they're out in the middle of the kitchen, you know, that look where they sort of take a couple steps and they're sniffing and you know they're gonna pee. You scoop them up and you say pee pads or papers and you rush them over. Then you slide the gate across and say potty or whatever your potty word is. I'm gonna take this gate and I'm just gonna pull it across. My puppy has a nice little quiet potty area. Once they start to go in there on their own, there's no reason for the gate. Right now, it just gives them the opportunity to go potty. I leave them in that potty area for 10 minutes. If they don't potty on the pads, then I take them out. With their harness on, I take a leash and hook it to me. So my puppy cannot go anywhere and then I put them back on the potty pads in about 20 minutes. When my puppy has pottied on the potty pads, I keep treats right here, very close by, and I tell them how wonderful she is. What a good girl. She's the most wonderful girl in the whole world, and just make a big lots of praise. Now, that way, your dog is being rewarded for peeing or pooping on the potty pads. Now they can come out and they can play. But don't give them too much room. That's the other way I use my sections of my playpen. I block off my kitchen or my family room because you know if you give them too much room, what they're gonna do is they're gonna go to the far end of the room and they're going to pee on the floor. You wanna keep them in a small confined area. If you're still having a problem potty training, whether it's a puppy, or an adult dog, then think about how much space you're giving your dog. Take those gates, make the room smaller so that your puppy cannot go away from where he's playing and potty. You can gradually open that space up again, but making the area smaller will help your puppy to learn to be potty trained. With consistency, supervision, and patience, your dog, just like Nikki, will learn to run to the potty pad and potty. 
Always remember, give a treat and try to give the treat right on the pad. Here is Beezy with the gate set up so that she can't go too far into the other room. She has a nice little area to potty and she gets a reward after she potties as well. And for the people that have boy dogs who don't want their boys to pee on their floors or on their cabinets or walls, here is the doggy apartment. Your boy can go in, lift his leg, and the urine will stay inside the doggy apartment. It's the consistency, the supervision, and taking your puppy to the pee pads every 20 minutes or even more often until your puppy starts to make their way to their potty area on their own. So you have to make it worth their while to go to the bathroom, which is why I reward my dogs every time they go to the bathroom. To this day, I want them always to have the incentive to go on the potty pads to go potty. How long will it take a puppy before they start to run over to the potty pads on their own. I have been potty pad training Italian greyhounds for the last 20 years. Some of them are very easy. Within a couple weeks, they're already starting to run over by themselves. Others, you have to keep working at it, be patient, give them a smaller area, take them to the potty pads frequently, increase the value of the treat, so that they really are motivated to use the potty pads. One thing that's helpful is a schedule. We start at 6 a.m. and there are five pages here. So we go from six to noon to four to eight to all the way through for 24 hours. This is how you get your puppy potty trained. Write it down. What time does your puppy awaken? What time do they pee when they awaken? Do they poop? Then they have breakfast. What time do they have breakfast? What time do they pee after they have breakfast? What time do they poop? If you go through a week, you're going to see there's a pattern and you're going to see that your puppy may have to poop five minutes after they eat, or it might be 45 minutes. Each dog is different. When you're following your schedule, you will find that your puppy has a pattern. And if you follow through with taking your puppy to the potty area every time after they eat, drink water, play games. You can be successful potty training your puppy. There's a link above to the video, how to train a puppy with potty pads. If you need some assistance with crate training, how to crate train a puppy with crate games is also in the link above. At Diamond Dog Training, we try to give you positive, effective training tips to help you train your dog. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please remember, subscribe and ring the bell so you receive all the episodes. Thank you and bye from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.